But first at 11 o'clock, we have breaking news. The FBI says it has thwarted a terror plot. Four men arrested in an undercover FBI sting and charged with a plot to blow up two synagogues in the Bronx and shoot down a military plane at a local airport. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz Cho. Federal agents moved in tonight and say their suspects are homegrown would-be terrorists. I'm News News reporter Jim Dolan is in the Riverdale section of the Bronx with the very latest on this story. Jim. And what a story it is, Liz. According to the FBI, this was a plot to blow up two synagogues and a community center all in the Bronx. It was not a plan in its early planning stages. It was not hypothetical. According to the FBI, the four men intended to carry out their plan today to blow up the two synagogues and later to use surface-to-air missiles to take out military aircraft. The... Uh, the four men were arrested today, according to the FBI, as they were putting cars loaded with what they believed to be C-4 explosives around two synagogues, both in the Bronx. The fake C-4 was provided by the FBI operatives, and again, the men believed they were putting their plan into effect today. The four men are James, uh, as identified by the FBI, are James Cromati, who's uh, Noam Daguerre as Abdul Rahman, David Williams, also known as D.L., Onto Williams, whose name is other name is Hamza, and Laguerre Payne, or Amin, sometimes known as Almondo, all three recent converts to Islam, all three New York City residents. This was not a group. Uh, this was a group, according to the FBI, that had evil intentions. Did you believe they were a, a genuine threat? Yes. Uh, based on what they, what they were attempting to do uh, and based on their actions. Uh, they planted, uh, you know, satchels or bags, what they believed to be, uh, you know, con to contain uh, explosives in, in front of uh, two uh, Jewish temples. Did they have any experience in knowing what they had, if what they had was real? No, not that uh, we're aware of. The other half of this plot, according to the FBI, was for the group to buy Stinger missiles. These are surface-to-air guided missiles. Uh, to take out military aircraft at Stewart Airport in Newburgh. That's where the New York National Guard is located. Again, these are four men, all New York City residents, three of them recent converts to radical Islam. Their plan was to take out two synagogues and a community center, according to the FBI, and they are charged with those crimes. Now, the FBI, FBI operatives are the people who provided the fake C-4 and actually showed them a fake Stinger missile. And according to the FBI, they did, these four men did not have enough experience with any of those to know whether they were real or whether they were inert. As it turns out, it was an FBI operative who showed them, sold them those devices. And uh, their plan, again, according to the FBI, was to take effect today. Reporting live from the Bronx, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jim, nice quick work out there. Thank you very much. We are now joined by uh, New York's U.S. Senator, Senior Senator Chuck Schumer. He is in Washington. Uh, Senator Schumer, you've been briefed, as I understand it, by law yes. enforcement authorities tonight. Yeah. How real was this? We heard Jim talk about it. No. Would they have pulled this off if the FBI hadn't been the one selling them the inert weapons? Well, maybe, but this group had been penetrated early for over a year. The FBI informants had been dealing with this group. Uh, they were relatively unsophisticated and not connected to any other terrorist group. So if there's any good news that can come out of a terrorist plot, it's those three things, not sophisticated, not connected to a terrorist group, and uh, penetrated quite early by the FBI. They were being monitored for close to a year. Senator, what do we know about these four men, and how confident are we that all the suspects have been arrested tonight? Uh, the FBI believes there's no other parties that these are the only people who were involved, and given that the surveillance had lasted a long time, that's a pretty safe bet. Um, they are, as uh, mentioned before, they're American-born. One may have had a parent from Afghanistan, um, and uh, homegrown terrorism can be just as dangerous as uh, foreign-based terrorism. The good news here is that our FBI and our NYPD did a very, very good job and uh, should be commended. The fact that we've been able to penetrate these groups early on shows uh, that uh, our surveillance is pretty good. Senator, did the authorities talk to you tonight about what they might be charged with? Because if they are Americans and they're conspiring allegedly to blow up a military plane, that would qualify as treason and, as I understand it, could be a capital offense. Well, the char they have filed the charges publicly. 
Uh, they've sent them to my office. I believe they've sent them out to the news organizations. I haven't read them, so I don't know what okay. the charge is. All right. Senator Chuck Schumer joining us tonight from Washington, D.C. We appreciate your time and your insight you, tonight. And we want to let you know that we're going to continue to monitor this, this story throughout the night, and we will bring you the very latest on Eyewitness News beginning at 5 a.m. Bill. There is one more terrorism story to tell you about tonight. A suspected al-Qaeda operative who has been detained at Guantanamo Bay will now stand trial here in New York City. ABC News confirming tonight that Ahmed Galani would be the first Guantanamo detainee brought to the U.S. and the first to face a trial in a civilian criminal court. He is a suspect in the deadly bombings at U.S. embassies in Africa. Liz? We turn now to the latest.